Hey there, Well Watchers. My name is Wifey Well, and today we're back with some more of Nancy Drew, The White Wolf of Icicle Creek, part two in the series. And the last episode, one of the last things it said was we need to take Ollie's snowmobile out to Skookum Ridge and see if there's been any avalanches out there. So I think we're gonna have to take a nap as it is 7.30 p.m. Probably going to have to make some breakfast for everybody and then head on out. Let's see. Get the laundry bag, we'll have to clean. Make the beds, make breakfast. Oh, and that's right, we gotta clear the snow. Okay, seven to eight. Okay. It said the laundry bag will be available. Uh, what's this little one for? I've never seen that before. At 5.45, so do we put it at 6 and then hit it? I guess we did it. I am a little rusty because... It has actually been over a month since I played part one of this. The first part I recorded, where's the laundry bag? I thought it was going to be here. First part I recorded on, oh, there's the bag, January 17th. And today is now February 26th. And why was I gone? Well, Shortly after I recorded part one, I started to get ill, and it was kind of progressively ill, and this room once cleaned. I couldn't breathe, and I honestly thought I had COVID, but I actually didn't. And I, when I was told the test was negative, I had to go to the ER, as recommended by the doctor. And please do not disturb sleeping. Ooh, we gotta watch that. So I went to the ER and they say, oh, yes, it sounds like you're having either a heart attack, blood clots, or pulmonary embolism. Which, you know, all of those things could be incredibly deadly. And... It was awful, but eventually I just got diagnosed with an inflammation issue in my chest and I had to take some medicine for a few weeks and lay in bed like I couldn't use my muscles and things. And yeah, I'm good now though. This must be where I drop the laundry bag after I'm done cleaning all the rooms. Well, I am done cleaning all the rooms. And I was back to my normal self about a week ago, but then, wait, when do I cook? Six? I don't remember. Then we got this blizzard, and which room is mine? Shoot. I think Quell Quell? Or is it Chinook? Uh-oh. Quell Quell. So we get this blizzard, and everybody was home, and I wasn't able to record. Dang it. But now hopefully everything will be back to business, back to normal. 7 a.m. What do we do until then? Should we just go to sleep again for an hour? Maybe. I guess. We'll take an hour nap. I would take an hour nap. If I had the opportunity, I'm always ready for a nap. Okay. Yep, all the rooms are done for the day. And we'll go cook breakfast, which... Uh... I don't think we've made breakfast yet. So let's see what's on the breakfast menu. 
Okay. Breakfast, French toast, an omelet, and or Canadian bacon. French toast, Canadian bacon should be cooked on the griddle. Omelet should be cooked in a frying pan. Okay, that looks simple enough. Order one. One French toast, one bacon, one omelet. Now the omelet. Uh, is this done? I don't know if it's done. I didn't hear it get done. Oh, it's done. It takes a while. Omelet wants one bacon, two spinach, one green pepper, one olive. I think we made this right. I'm nervous. And I guess if we do this one right, I can cut out the rest so you guys don't have to suffer. Beautiful, Nancy. It's served. Order up. Wonderful. Marvelous. Alright. Last order. Hopefully. Well, this looks downright wrong. <gasps> oh, snap. What did I do? I did something, but I don't know what I did. Two spinach, two cheese. One, two. One, two. One green. Oh, I think I did two. I probably did two. Imagine sending your food back over a little bit of extra peppers. Man. Okay, there you go, princess. Alright. When is lunch again? I know we just looked at the darn thing, but... Quell, quell. Lunch is from noon to one. Oh, we have plenty of time. We have plenty of time. We could go get the snow shoveled and then get back to trying to solve the mystery. Oh, danger. Well, what do we do then? Still go? I don't remember where to go to... Mm. Now I remember. It might be the big old sign that says to the skating pond. Now this I'm nervous about. Oops. All right, so I have died twice trying to do this. I'm still not good at Minesweeper, but in spite of my two oopsies, I'm pretty sure that the last two spots are here and that it's safe to shovel this spot. Oh. Cool, it instantly. That ought to do it. Okay. Yay. All right. Uh, what does clicking at do? Hold on. Oh. That ought to do it. It just, she just repeats that we've done it. All right, let's go home. And now we can, we're free. Free to explore until noon. Which I'm very, very thankful for. Um, snowmobile. 
because we are already getting awful cold. Ha! Who goes there? Uh, Nancy Drew? Nancy Drew shall not pass unless and until she proves herself worthy. And how does she do that? By hitting a snow princess ten times. Snowballs only, no ice balls. What are ice balls? Snowballs made of ice. If you get hit with one, it can knock you out. So don't throw it or I'll tell my dad. You must be Ollie's daughter, Freddy. I am the Snow Princess. Prepare to defend yourself. She's just out here dying. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Little kid? <coughs> I'm clicking it, but I don't know what to do. Do I click her? <coughs> oh yeah, I gotta kill her. <coughs> well, this is hilarious. Okay, abusing this child is my favorite part so far of the entire game. The snow princess surrenders for now. The noises she was making were hilarious. What is this way? What's this? The face from a clock. It's all melted. Part of the timing device that was used to trigger the bomb that blew up the bunkhouse, maybe? Hmm. So this is the bunkhouse. Been there, done that. Okay. Icicle Lake. Have we gone this way? Kind of awkward. My task list is up. If I don't get warm soon, I may not make it. Okay, well then hurry, run. A nice fishing shack, a nice warm one at that. I'm God, we almost died. Are they actually fishing fish? Or am I swimming? Oh, it's a game. Oh, well we don't need to ice fish right now, do we? Do I wait for something to eat it? Gotcha, sucker. What was the point of that, though? Is that my dinner? Um. Whose shack is this? It's not really letting me click on anything at all. Uh oh. No, 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 no. It is really, really cold out here. Dang it, I also think it's fast forwarding time. And is she gonna make me play again? Well, there's the snowmobile, but I need to just get inside right now. Ah, much better. Instantly it's really healed. cold. Mm-hmm, okay. not follow this trail until I know for sure where it goes. Okay. Skating pond, no. We need to go this way. Oh my lord. You know what, honestly, I'm okay with this. I want to beat her. <laughs> Ollie's gonna be so mad. He's like, so I heard you've been beating the crap out of my daughter. And it's like, yeah, I have been. You won, so you may pass. <laughs> this is my favorite game mechanic. Okay, back to Icicle Lake because I'm an idiot. <sighs> I'm starting to get really cold. And lucky for you, we already know there's a fishing shack right there. Okay, we're warm. Hooray, huzzah. Back outside to explore, but do not go that way because it'll make you leave. Power generator. Is there 
literally nothing else to do here but fish. No one's told me to fish yet. Right? That's finished. Still need to do that. Okay, we'll call the shadow. Yeah, I don't think we really need to be here. So we, we came back, we beat up Frankie or whatever for no reason. Except for our own personal enjoyment, rather. It is really, really cold out here. And it does skip time. So now, unfortunately, it's almost freaking lunchtime now. Ah, much better. That was really cold. We'll call the sheriff, though. Uh, the sheriff or Tino? I definitely don't want to call Tino. Three, five, 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 seven, eight, two, seven. This is Nancy Drew at the Icicle Creek Lodge. We met the other night when you were investigating the bunkhouse explosion. Oh, yeah, that uh, bright kid from the States. Uh, what do you need? Well, I found a melted clock face close to where the bunkhouse used to be, and I wondered if it could have been what triggered the explosion. You know, the timer. I found that clock face, too. Left it there because any fingerprints on it would have melted away along with everything else. And besides, Ollie Randall said all the at the lodge looked like that. Could have been one that was in the bunkhouse to begin with. Oh, right. You shouldn't go poking around on your own like that. There could still be explosives lying around. <laughs> Although, I hear it takes a pretty big bang to set off C4. C4? A plastic explosive. That's what blew up the bunkhouse. Lab result came in less than an hour ago. Did the lab results show anything else? Nope. Unfortunately, that bunkhouse wasn't particularly well made, so when it exploded, pretty much everything got melted into a blob or blown to smithereens or burned to a crisp. Oh, I have options. One of the guests at the hotel, <clears throat> Yanni Volkstaya, he says someone threw a bomb at him while he was out skiing. Did he see who it was? He didn't see anything except the explosion, which apparently went off right next to him. Was he hurt? No. Why are you telling me this instead of him? Because he's a cross-country skiing champion, and he's convinced it was one of his competitors. Apparently the governments of the people he's beaten are as ruthless as they are sole losers. So what do you want me to do? Jeez. I just thought you should know that his life may be in danger. Well, if this Yanni guy wasn't concerned enough to call us, I don't see what good we can do. Life's too short, we're too understaffed, and it's just too darn cold to go creeping around out there for nothing. Maybe we should call Tino. That C4 plastic explosive stuff, I'm assuming it's not something you can just buy at your basic hardware store? No, but it's not that difficult to get. And that's Ollie, right? Do you need some kind of permit to hunt wolves around here? No, ma'am. You mean Ollie Randall can go after that white wolf that's been hanging around outside the lodge and just shoot it? Yes, ma'am. It's always open season on wolves out here. You can kill as many of them as you want. Somehow that doesn't seem right. Hmm, I'll let I don't you get think I like this sheriff. Goodbye. Screw it, we will call Tino. What a twist, right? And then we have to go make lunch, which I guess I'll skip for you guys too. Hey Nancy, what you need? 
Oh, he's just the hint person. That's right. That does it for now. You need help? Just give me a call. How do we leave? Okay. Let's just tell Ollie that we killed his daughter. And then... Because basically there's no time. We have nine minutes before we have to cook. I guess we can talk to him. How can I help you? Mm. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Kavichinaya. How can I help you? Oh my god. That's all for now. Kavichinaya. Oh yeah, we have to make sure no one's dying in here. Alright, no one's dying yet. <laughs> Hello, I met your daughter. Darn, I keep forgetting. What else do you want? I'll get out of your hair now. Keep me posted. Well, shucks. Nobody really has anything to say, do they? See if anything's in the paper. Mm, still the same thing. Well, I guess I'll just go stand by the lunch door, you guys. Unless they'll let me in now. Not time for kitchen duty yet. Nope, but regardless, I'm gonna cut here and make everyone lunch. Alright, this should be good. Yay! To Snookum Ridge. Oh, Snowmobile, where are you? I don't better not follow this trail until I know for sure where it goes. Here it is. Dinna, 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 dinna. Man's here, where we're going. That Snookum Ridge is this way? And we just map what? Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, oh Jesus. It's so fast. Uh, oh. I'm so scared. Put it out, out, Jesus. I didn't know Snookum Ridge was gonna be so treacherous. Oh, what a ripoff. Oh, whatever. Oh. The hitboxes on these trees is ridiculous. At least we made it. Do you think we have to do that every the single time? Not buried, so I guess there hasn't been an avalanche. Is that how we determine it these days? Wait, is that it? That's literally all we're doing here? No. That's it. That's finished. That's finished. And return his snowmobile. Hmm. All of that work. Oh man. That's it. I'm hitting a snowman. <gasps> what was that? What is it? Do all the snow? Okay, now we gotta find another snowman. I'm super curious now. Also, why do I have the bad habit of leaving my task list up? I'm sorry. Oh, we need another snowman. Oh. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, I'm enjoying this one. Ow. Uh oh. Oh, God, the lag. Ugh. Oh. I just don't care. Ollie's gonna be so mad when he sees his snowmobile. Oh, well. Oh, screw you, hitbox.
that was fun. Are we sure this snowmobile still works? I'm really questioning it. All right, Ollie boy. There were no avalanches at Smokem Ridge. However, there were some clucking slash screaming slash ah, warm again. laughing snowmen. I'm not really quite sure how I would describe them, but they were definitely friendly. You check out Skookum Ridge. I sure did. Yep, no avalanche. There's your snowmobile key. You make a report to the avalanche patrol? Not yet. That's okay. I'll call him. What else do you want? I'll let you get back to work. Good. All right. Well, hmm. Been there, done that. When's dinner? Been on the lookout for the bone, keeping out the two pitchers, and that's it. The bone and the pitchers. So unless we've walked right How past can I help it. You? I have disturbed you long enough. Come back any time. All right. Um, let's go check when dinner is. And then, wait a minute. You know what? Don't I have the task No. I just thought I did to where I didn't have to keep doing this. Oh. Well, maybe eventually we'll get the times memorized. Darn it. Dinner's from 6 to 7. We got plenty of time. So let's talk to the boys downstairs. The bird girl isn't back. I don't remember much about her except for that she lied about the bird she was looking at. <clears throat> oh. Well, dang. Maybe we should call Tino and say, Yo, Tino, what do we do now? Because, um... Apparently nobody wants to talk to me. Three, one, two, five, 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 three, seven, five. Hey Nancy, what you need? Hello, Tino, my love. I guess maybe I could use a hint. Oh, I'm supposed to catch a fish? Bill Kessler wants me to catch a two-foot northern pike, only my fishing skills seem to be pretty much non-existent. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. I could catch a two-foot northern pike in my sleep. Look, first off, check out the computer in the lobby so you know what a northern pike looks like. Then when you're fishing, just click to get your hook to drop down or rise up. And if you want a really hot on the mouth of a fish coming toward your line. Next thing you know, bam, you got yourself a fish. Just keep at it till you catch a northern pike that's two feet long. Now you'll probably never be as good at fishing as they, me, but you'll get the hang of it. I do not remember having to catch a fish. Excellent. All in a day's work. See ya. Why wouldn't that be in my freaking notes? Northern Pike, two feet long. It's a spotty boy. Are any other ones spotty? No, it's the only spotty boy. Well, at least now we know why we had to go to the darn fishing whatever. And that's Snowball Girl. Well, we get to beat a child again. No, you're gonna pay. Oh, she got me. You know, normally I would be so annoyed that the game had you play a ridiculous minigame over and over and over and over that's no fun. 
but it gives me so much satisfaction hearing her little noises. I don't know, maybe I'm just evil. It is really, really cold out here. I know it is, girlfriend. We're getting you in. Calm down. We're gonna catch ourselves a two foot long northern pike. Is that a freaking bomb? I mean, it's just like Animal Crossing. I got a boot. Uh oh. How do I? Snag a log. There goes my line. Uh oh. I don't see a spotty boy. Wait, that's one. That's one. Damn it. That's one. No. I don't understand how to control the thing. I know he said it too, and I just don't understand. You son of a... I'm gonna get a can of beans. Is anyone hungry? What? Snag a log. There goes my line. Oh, no matter what, it messes up your line. I got it. You just have to raise your thing. Uh oh, raise your thing. Raise your thing. God dang it. My line just bit the dust. And then another one down. And another one down. Two foot wooden pike. Northern pike. That can't be good. No end game. Mm. Oh, there's one. My line just bit the dust. I hate this damn mini. <laughs> Look, it's so mad. Come on, don't make me have to cut this too. I've had to cut so much. One's coming in, I think. And it lagged. Uh oh, up, 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 up. Get it, Nancy! Oh, that's like a saddle bircher or something, right? Uh oh, log. I don't want it. I don't want it. This is actually really hard. Ah, darn it. Really? Uh oh, the sturgeon ate my line. I didn't think the sturgeon would get out of the line. Oh, there's one. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Nancy! Nancy, you fumbled it. Nancy, hurry, pull it. <sighs> it's like the game hates me. We're gonna get one, you guys. Finally. I think we got it. Two feet. Why is my heat not good? Take that, Bill Kessler. 
It is really, really cold out here. again. Is he here? No. He is not. Hmm. Just these two things. Should I call Tino again for a hint? Should I wait until dinner? I don't know. We can call Tino, I guess. Three, one, two, three, five, 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 three, seven, five. Hey, Nancy, what you need? I'm in the market for a hint. I'm kind of in the market for a hint. I'm a veritable fountain of hints. Oh. It's just a mind. stupid Maybe fish head. See ya. Don't be a stranger. Mm, I guess they wait for dinner. Is my yeah. I need to just write I'm gonna write these times down over to the side. Seven, twelve, and six. And then maid duties bag is available at 545, right? So that one I remember. And you have to do that by noon. Well, shucks. Shuckaroomy. Guess we just sleep till six and see if we can find lips. Lips, 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 lips. Okay, so sleep until 6 and see if we can find the boys, I guess. Because, yeah, they're, um, they're just dead. They're non-existent. Let me mark that I made my stupid screen black again. Alright. Gosh, I've already been recording for over an hour. And you guys have maybe probably seen 30 minutes. There's just so many, I might even, like, I didn't mark the fishing game time either, because I thought it, it wouldn't take this long. I probably could have cut some of that, too. <sighs> Alright. This will only make me sleep till 6pm, correct? Before we do dinner, I'm gonna see if that guy will look at this fish in my pocket. Nope, he does not want the fish in my pocket. And that's just fine. Hope that's four. Okay, good. Are the boys out here or not? You're so annoying. All right, fine. Well, I guess we'll just sleep until 6 a.m. then. Hmm? Well, that's weird. Must have clicked the wrong thing. Alright, laundry bag. But then after we give the fish to that guy, if that doesn't progress us along, it means we missed something. Alright, this is one once cleaned.
cleaned. I can do that for you. Okay. <clears throat> uh, do not disturb. I'm clean. Easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. Breakfast is at seven. Well, let's see if the boys are down here. Do I remember which one is Bill? Nope. Hope I hear a kitty. Ah, oh, gosh, I feel like we're just spending this whole episode taking naps. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just taking my 15th nap from the last day. Okay, please let there be some boys. Oh my god, when do they show up? Oh, breakfast time it is. I am a freaking cooking master at this point. Please be here. Why are they not here? I don't get it. When would they normally be here? Hmm? Oh. I thought the game was like loading something in. I just feel like some sort of event has me blocked from proceeding. I guess we could sleep till like 9 and see if they're here. I just feel like we're not doing much detective work. I caught your stupid fish. Please be there. Oh, thank God. Which one are you? There's a Harry Potter, and is this one building? Hey, excellent job on the snow shoveling, eh? We had ourselves one fine time out there because of you, especially Lou here. That's right, I have to snow shovel again. I beat again. him five times. By the slimmest of margins, which is why now he's too chicken to go mano a mano with me out there in the ice fishing shack. Snowshoeing's my thing, dude. Besides, it's animal cruelty. Give me a break. You ever been ice fishing? I literally just went. As a matter of fact, I have. Excellent. Here's the deal. I need some competition, so I want you to go out there and try to catch a bigger fish than I caught yesterday, which means you gotta catch a two-foot northern pike. Now, it's a bit of a hike out to the lake, but the shack is solar heated, so it's nice and warm inside. So what do you say, kiddo? You game? Anything to make you guests happy. Atta girl. Okay, so then uh, that is why we didn't have it in our task book, because we weren't given the task yet. And the game is like messed up. Well, I'll let you get back to beating Lou. Okie dokie. Hey, I caught the fish. Hey, little Miss Fisherman. What can I do for you? What? Well, I'll let you get back to beating Lou. Drop by any time. Where did my fish go? What's up? Nice talking to you. Ditto, dude. It really just deleted my fish. O M freaking G. You guys know, you guys saw, you know what? No, I'm not going to cut it. You guys are going to see the full struggle of trying to catch that stupid fish. And now I get to do it again. Oh, and I also have to shovel the snow. I have to beat up Frankie. Gotta kill a kid. That's okay. I can take on my frustrations. Why? 
This is making me feel better. I don't think it's supposed to, but it is. I'm the snow princess now, girlfriend. Why do I always get confused? So we're gonna go catch another two foot fish. <sighs> it is really, really cold out here. Hi, Nancy. You should know by now that we're gonna make it and all is good in the wood. Oh my gosh. It looks like someone came in here and just wrecked everything, including the fishing gear. <sighs> so much for catching a two foot northern pike. But I did catch a two foot northern pike. Hmm. Left behind by whoever trashed this place, maybe? 202-555-7237. That's a U.S. phone number. And? Who, which one of our suspects is? I can't fish without a hook and line. Oh, but I fished before and now you deleted my fish because you gave me the quest too soon and... Ugh. It is really, really cold out here. Well, at least we're moving along, I guess. Ah, warm again. Somebody left me a note. Where? Nancy... Ooh, guys, it looks spooky. I don't like the font. Oh god, it's it's bloody red. Oh. You know, I brought this up about how she's just staying out there dying. Okay, but why was it so ominous? <laughs> it's like, I was scared to read that. I thought I was gonna get... Okay, uh... This? Was that the number? I don't know. I wasn't honestly paying a lot of attention. I guess it is. Run and go free. I don't recognize that. Nancy's like, nope. Well, we know who claimed to be into birds anyway, but... Alright, I guess let's let him know that we, um... Can't get the fish that we've already caught and lost because someone wrecked the place. Hey, little Miss Fisherman. What can I do for you? I hate to tell you this, but someone wrecked all the fishing gear that was in the fishing shack. What? You're kidding. So my gear's ruined? Completely. So much for our little fishing contest. Wait a minute. Ollie Ice Fishes. Go ask him for a hook and line. And don't take no for an answer. <sighs> I'd better get going. See you later. He's like, nope, Nancy. You are not getting out of this that easily. Oops. When's lunch? Oh no, I had to flip my paper over. Twelve. I'm gonna have to write it over here on this side too. Five forty-five clean, seven, twelve, six. There. Alright, Ollie. Also, if I beat up your child one more time, she's gonna teach me a secret. What you need? Someone went into the ice fishing shack and ruined all of Bill Kessler's equipment. Probably some animal-loving eco-fanatic who figured it was time to save the fish. 
Harry Potter? Problem is, Mr. Kessler still insists that I try to catch a two-foot northern pike. Say no more. There's my tackle box. It's all yours. Kessler tried to rope me into competing with him. But I can't very well do that when you've got my hook and line now, can I? Oh. No, I don't suppose you can. What else do you want? <laughs> I'll get out of your hair now. Keep me posted. He's like, thank God, now I do not have to worry about this. You can go fight him. I'm also going to get to kill... Oh, wait. Lunch is in an hour. Dang it. Gosh, there's going to be so many cuts in this episode because of the cooking. Well, at least after this we can have quite a bit of peace with our slave labor. Yay. All right. Um, now we gotta go fishing again, and we gotta kill Freddy. Which, how did they miss this entire area the whole first episode? Kill the Freddy. Kill the Freddy. Oops. Oh my god, she got me. There's something on the line now. She's pulling out her ultimate moves. You win. Bombs away. Please don't bomb me. Whatever you're really cold, just squeeze the toasty pack and you'll get a boost of heat. It only works when you're already cold and you can only use one toasty pack at a time. Thanks. I guess. What a weird it child. It's really, really cold out here. Hurry, Nancy, use your toasty pack. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's catch a freaking two foot northern pike again. We go a oh, two thank foot northern God. pike. No more fishing for me. Wow, guys, we caught it in like five seconds that time. Brave, sweet little baby Jesus on that one. <gasps> oh, shoot! Oh my gosh, whoever threw that ice ball at me must have set off an explosion that shattered the ice. And my jacket's gone. No wonder I'm so cold. My jacket. A coat. I need to make it to shore by jumping from ice floe to ice floe and put on that coat before I freeze to death. Oh my god. Oh no, this is like, ugh. This is like the freaking end of Creature of Copy Cave. Uh, what do we do? Can I jump diagonal? Oh, okay. Nancy, nothing is appearing. What do I do? Oh, man. I 
guess jump back on these. No ice is freaking appearing up here. Ugh. Why do they have to make this so hard? Stupid her interactive. Nancy, use your toasty. Oh, we can't. Well, we're dead. Pretty sure I just freaking died. I'm getting sleepy. Good night. Well, this is just great. Oh. I don't understand how to get ices to appear where you need them to appear. Because it seems straightforward, right? Well, it's not. Okay, it was kind of straightforward that time. I'm not alive? It's not letting me click anything. Game? Can you guys see my mouse down here? Nancy? Hello? Nancy, get your coat, Nancy! Have I just screwed myself and this is what happens if there's no more ice to jump to? You just freaking die? <sighs> Listen, um, body temperature, could you go down a little quicker? Because mm, I'm uh, getting impatient. So many mini games in this one. Unfortunately, the only enjoyable one is whooping that child. I'm getting sleepy. Okay, well, Nancy took a nap, and now I don't know. I could have sw I guess this needs to be an icy right there. And if there's not an icy there, then you may as well. Forget about it. But see, I don't know. <gasps> is that my jacket? Please say it's my jacket. I don't know whose this is or why that wolf left it here, but at least now I won't freeze to death. Ah, warm again. There's a note in one of the pockets. Since I can't go back the way I came, maybe these tracks will lead me to shelter. Hmm. Uh-oh. I don't want to go through Avalanche Ridge again. Avalanche Ridge. Ugh, not exactly reassuring. Yeah. Speaking of it not being reassuring, it's saved now, right? Yeah. Okay. The snow's so deep, I'm sinking up to my knees. That's the blizzard we got this week. If I want to follow those tracks, I'm gonna need some snowshoes. Well, then which way do you suggest we go? Something tells me I shouldn't be making this much noise. Not when I'm walking in a place called Avalanche Ridge. Screw it. You only live once. 
Smooth avalanche. Maybe the wolf will dig us out again. I mean, oh, nope. So what, you want me to turn around? Ski tracks, probably Yanni's. I bet if I follow them, I'll wind up back at the lodge. Uh oh. I can't stop shivering. I need to get in out of the cold like soon. But I was totally fine a second ago. Ah, warm again. So All right. Oops, oops. That's finished. Oops, oops, oops. Jeff's been there. That's finished. That's finished. Okay. Figure out if they know they found the coat. Follow the wolf tracks. Get some snowshoes. Call Chantel. Okay. Well, first, we're turning in the stupid fish that we almost died over. Sound of snow. I'll wake him up. I don't care. Hey, I got your stupid Nancy, ass fish. Hi. What the heck happened out there? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? I walked out to Icicle Lake to see how you were doing in the fishing shack, only there wasn't any fishing shack. There wasn't even a lake. The ice was all busted up like somebody dropped a bomb on it. All I know is, after I caught that two-foot northern pike, I walked outside and someone knocked me unconscious with an ice ball. The next thing I knew, there was an explosion and I was on an ice floe in the middle of the lake with no coat and no fish. Somebody decked you with an ice ball and blew up the lake? Holy moly! The good news is you're okay. The bad news? No more ice fishing. So I fished twice for no well, reason? Sorry to bother you. Hasta siesta. Yep, I really did. My fish is gone. What? Okay. That little code isn't... Hold on. Oh, okay. It's not for that, then. Um, I guess we should return our stuff to Ollie. Wouldn't it be funny if Frankie was the bad guy this whole time? Throwing snowballs? What you need? Would you happen to know the combination to the lock on the display case that has the snowshoes in it? Only person who'd know that is Chantal. Just cross your fingers like she wrote it down. Gal's got a memory like a butterfly net. Of course, there's no need for you to go repeating that. Mm hmm I love your lips moving That's after. That's all the questions I had. Everyone's been doing that lately. Him, just holler. Okay, I will holler. How can I help you? I really need to get somewhere in the backcountry and was thinking you could maybe give me a cross-country ski lesson or two? Out of the question. I don't have the time, the equipment, or frankly, the desire. I am sorry. He doesn't desire me. You're busy, so I'll let you go. It has been a pleasure. No, 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 no. You can't say you didn't desire and then say it was a pleasure. So, uh, we haven't seen that girl. Ollie, um, all right, let's just call Chantel. Four zero three five 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 two two seven four. Ring ring. It's me. I almost died again. Hello. Hi, it's Nancy. Listen, I think I'm onto something, but I desperately need snowshoes. Could you give me the combination to the lock on the display case so I could use the ones in there? I certainly can, but I'm not going to until you do something for I'm me. I'm already doing a million things for her, but okay. Whatever. Like what? I'm going to fax you a survey that Tino came up with. He says you're to fill most of it out by observing the people staying at the lodge, rather than just asking them the questions outright. He says that would put them on their guard. When it's all filled out, fax it to Tino. The results will help him come up with a profile that will help you to determine which of our guests is responsible for the accident. 
I really don't think that's necessary. Well, Tino does, so I'm faxing it to you even as we speak. In fact, it's done. So why don't you go get it right now? I'll wait. Great. I just hope the questions aren't too dumb. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure they're dumb, all Got right. It. Okay, whatever. I'd better get back to work. I have to get going too. Bye. Hello, I have something that will solve the case. I need a simple four numbers. Actually, I need you to not only continue to be my maid and my chef and risk your life, but I also need you to fill out a dumb survey. Why do I need to fill out the survey? Oh, you know, so we can figure out who did it. But I just said I think I know who did it. I don't care. Okay, thank you. That's literally the, 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 what just happened. I'm so freaking annoyed. How in the beep am I supposed to figure this crap out without literally asking? And you know what? Okay. I don't even, who's BK? Who's, okay, this is Yaniv. GCLTBK. Hold on. Hold on. Guadalupe. Bill Kessler. Lou. Okay, so it does not mention Ollie or the daughter. But they could very well be suspects. I mean, they're listed here. Okay, this is so stupid. Well, we have to go clear the freaking ice before I forget to do that today and get yelled at. I'm pretty sure I have to do it every single day anyway. More air will foul. It means we're going to die doing it yet again. That ought to do it. Oh. That ought to do it. Oh, cool. Well, I guess I guess you don't have to shovel necessarily every day. I guess it's just when it snows again, or something, question mark? Well, that's fine with me. I didn't want to do it anyway. And then, well, I guess we just have to figure oh, out... Much better. These that stupid... Was really cold. Okay, Nancy. We have to figure out these stupid questionnaire things. Hello, do you... I don't know about the paprika because none of the cooking I have does paprika. What you need? That's all the questions I had. Good. Mm -hmm. How can I help you? Would you mind telling me what planet you most identify with? Pluto. Actually, Pluto's not a planet anymore. <gasps> Nancy. That is exactly the point. Pluto stirs up passion and controversy. Yet it continues undaunted on its course, as do I. Pluto and I, we are as brothers. Could you lip stop? That's all for now. Come back anytime. I really don't remember the lips doing that in the first episode. Pluto. I can't believe Nancy tried to say that Pluto wasn't a planet. How dare you? <sighs> Hometown. Yaniv's is prob. I know there's a magazine somewhere about his hometown or something. It was something about him somewhere. Um, 
I can't get in here? I thought I could get into all the rooms. Hmm. Alright, whose room is this? I don't know. Oh, it's Painter Boys. Some things are missing. Maybe Lou went out and took them with him. Maybe. Or maybe he's the suspect. <gasps> what do you want? You messed with my rifle, didn't you? This I gotta hear. Excuse me? This fax just came for you. It's from the wacko left wing wildlife gang that paid you to screw up my rifle so I'd miss that wolf. How dare you talk to me like that? I'm leaving this place right now. Good. You just got yourself an escort off the premises. Well, we're not going to find out her planet. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, where is his name? Oh, I guess it didn't mention him. Dang it. Well, that fight was interesting, though, huh? Be a little nosy. Whose room is this? Well, I guess it'd help if I looked at what room we're in. Pish Pish. Bill Kessler. <clears throat> Alright, let's go see what Ollie and them were fighting about. What you need? I couldn't help but overhear the argument you and Ms. Camillo had. She messed up my rifle so I couldn't shoot that wolf, so I tossed her out. Told her to take her little crusade somewhere else. Do you think she was responsible for any of the other stuff that happened around here? Anybody who deliberately sabotaged a man's rifle is capable of anything. But at least now I know why I missed that wolf. And like I told her as I was giving her the bum's rush. Next time... I won't miss. Hmm. I'll let you get back to work. Keep me posted. I wish I knew the schedules of the people. Like, when do Bill and Lou come back? I hear lots of steps. But I don't know if that actually means anything. Hello? Nope. Doesn't mean junk. Um, I'm gonna call Chantel though and tell her about, you know, <laughs> that I can't finish Kino's thing because one of the guests is now gone. So, oopsie kadootsie. Hello? Hey! Oh. Hi Chantal, it's Nancy again. What's up? Nothing else to report. Screw it, we'll call Kino. Nancy, hi. You finished with that survey yet? I sure am. Good girl. I'll just turn on my fax machine here. Okay, let her rip. Uh... You bet. Anything else? 
Think you could give me a hint? About what? Ollie kicked Guadalupe Camillo out of the lodge, which means I'm going to have a problem filling out that survey of yours. Well, I guess this is one case where you'll have to call her and ask her the questions outright. But only some of the questions, just the ones you have to ask, and only her. And be subtle. If she lies, it'll mess up the whole survey. So don't make her suspicious. I have to find out what side of the bed she gets out of. How subtle can I be? Excellent. Hey, my pleasure. Later. <laughs> well, that was awkward. Um, I'm going to call him back because I want to. The hometown thing is stumping me. Unless it just says it in my notes, which maybe it does, but. Eh. Hey, Nancy. What you need? I need to know. I guess maybe I could use a hint. That's what I'm here for. Here I'm go. stumped when it comes to figuring out the hometowns of the guests at the lodge without just coming out and asking them. Most places ask for that information when somebody mm. registers, so check the guest register. It's probably on the computer. Genius. Thanks for the tip. Helpful is my middle name. Yeah, Bye. now I feel kind of stupid. Okay, I should have... Okay. Can we just like overlay it? Nope. Okay. Um, Yanni is from Iladset Fredonia. Iladset. 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 Um, Lou is from Brie. Ugh. How do I put this away without blacking out? Uh, Guadalupe is from Los Angeles. And WK? William Kessler? Or instead of Bill? Oh, Bill William. Okay. So Toronto and Los Angeles. Toronto and Los Angeles. Toronto. Whoops. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Toronto and Los Angeles. Is that how you spell Angeles? If it is, it just doesn't look right. Alright, um... I guess we'll call her... This is Nancy Drew. I'll call you later. What are those shuckaroonies? Should the course of action be? I don't know if we should. Oh, I have to slip paprika into the food. 
Mmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, in that case, maybe we should skip to dinner. And she said put no on the paprika for hers and hope for the best. We need to take a two hour nap, Nancy. Is dinner the meal with the paprika even? As long as it's not time to cook, I might as well stay out of the kitchen. It is 6.01. Paprika. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. I have to make one last dish. Freddy. This is for the little girl. So, I guess we'll make hers. And I guess I won't cut this one out, you guys, since... We have something different going on. One, two, three. One tomato. One, two. Um, two anchovies. One, two. Three carrots. Four cucumbers. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. She eats a lot for a little girl. I ain't judging though. I'm just saying. There you go, Freddy. Order up. All right, now, Lou. All right, we're gonna see if he is okay with paprika. We'll do his salmon. What do we put the paprika on? The salmon? No, in the salad. One egg, two yellow peppers, one tomato, two spinach, one, two, uh, one anchovy, two carrots, one, two, two cucumbers, two, and a crouton. Well, he didn't complain. Bill, Harry Potter, two salmon. A salad with paprika. Two egg, one yellow pepper. Two spinach, one, two. Uh, one carrot and three cucumber. Order up. I didn't hear any complaints. Wait, whose is this? Ollie. Ollie isn't listed as a s suspect, even though I totally think he is. One, two. Two tomatoes, one, two. One spinach, one anchovy. One carrot, two cucumbers, and one crouton. Who is this? Yummy? Paprika for you. One egg, two peppers. Oh, we didn't serve his. Order up. One tomato, two spinach. Uh, two anchovies, two carrots. Four cucumbers and two croutons. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay. No, 
I'll wait. Don't go at him paprika to loot Talbot's food anymore. He hates paprika. Does that mean it's blue? Okay. Well, I guess I could have cut that, you guys, and I guess we just figured it out from the end. Which planet? Uh, okay. I don't know when we should try calling her again. What was the number? Nope. What am I doing? Two, one, three, five, 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 three, two, six, four. Hello? Miss Camillo? Hi, it's Nancy Drew from Icicle Creek Lodge. Yes, hello! Is the wolf all right? Well, Ollie hasn't succeeded in shooting or trapping it yet, if that's what you mean. But I'm not going to tell you any more until you tell me who you really are. All right. I'm a member of Run and Grow Free. As you may or may not know, that's an organization dedicated to the protection of wild animals. I went to the lodge to make sure nothing happened to that wolf. See, we're trying desperately to arrange to have it captured and transported to a sanctuary. But so far, all the ones we've contacted are full. And unless and until we find a place for it, all we can do is try to protect it. Now tell me more about the contact you've had with the wolf. Mm. After I was buried by an avalanche, it dug a hole in the snow so I could escape. Mm, it may have sensed you were in trouble, or its behavior may have been totally random. But either way, the fact that the wolf didn't simply run away from you is very bad news. It is? Wolves and humans simply do not mix. While wolves may appear to be similar to dogs, behaviors that have been bred out of dogs after thousands of years of domestication are still instinctive to wolves. Training a wolf to behave like a dog may mask those instincts, but it cannot eradicate them. For that reason, no matter how sociable the wolf may appear, instinct can at any moment rear its ugly head with devastating results for any humans involved and for the wolf. Especially for the wolf, who will have simply been doing what comes naturally. So the fact that this wolf doesn't seem to be that afraid of people could lead people to think they don't have to be afraid of it. Precisely. It could make them forget that all wolves are, first and foremost, wild. And while we're on the subject, do not ever, ever give in to the temptation to feed the wolf. For one thing, a wolf's jaws are twice as powerful as a German Shepherd's, and should your hand happen to get in its way when it tries to feed... I get the picture. For another thing, making the wolf dependent upon you for food would seal its doom. It sounds strange, Nancy, but the very best thing you can do for that wolf is nothing. Okay. Oh my god. Are you the one who wrecked all the gear that was in the fishing shack? Yes, that was me. I was afraid that Bill Kessler fellow would encounter the wolf on one of his trips out to the shack, and that it would end badly for the wolf. So I did a number on his equipment. I've done worse while working on behalf of Run and Grow Free. Believe me. I mean, at least she's honest. This is going to sound like a really weird question, but from what side of the bed do you usually get up? Oh, please don't try to make me explain. Well, it's a harmless question, I suppose. Let's see. I get up on my left side. If I were to ask you which planet you most identify with, which one would you say? Earth. No, wait. Make that Venus. No, Earth. No, actually Venus. No, Earth. No offense, dear, but that's a very silly question. Tell me about it. <laughs> Alright, I'll put Earth. So, are you kind of an expert on wolves? Oh, good heavens, no. Although I probably know more about them than most people do, which unfortunately is 
isn't saying much. Things like what? Well, I know that a wolf that lives by itself, like the one up there at the lodge, a lone wolf, if you will, a wolf like that is called a disperser. And I know that 95% of the wolf's natural habitat down here in the lower 48 states has disappeared. And I know some people, a lot of people, couldn't care less. But it seems to me that wolves have just as much right to go about their business in this country as we humans do. After all, they were here first. When you were here at the lodge, how come you had a magazine that featured Yanni Volkskaya in your room? You're very observant. I read the article thinking he might make a good spokesperson for Run and Grow Free. Oh, but then I actually talked to him. At which point I realized that not only is he a raving egomaniac, but he's appallingly superstitious when it comes to wolves. I put an abrupt end to that conversation. I was afraid he might try to tell me that wolves had eaten his grandmother or something. You know, actually, oh, never mind. <laughs> mm, that's funny. Why can't the group you belong to just capture the wolf, take it out to the middle of nowhere, and let it go? Because unfortunately, there's really no such place as nowhere anymore. We humans are or can be everywhere. Plus, wolves can travel great distances. Contact with humans would be inevitable. And since this wolf has obviously lost its fear of humans, it would be an easy target for anyone prone to shoot first and ask questions later. No, a sanctuary is the only place where it would be truly safe. What's a sanctuary? It's a facility where wolves can live out their lives in as natural a setting as possible in the company of other wolves. You mean, like a zoo? No, sanctuaries are usually not open to the general public. And while educating visitors about wolves is certainly one of their goals, their primary concern is preserving the animals they take in. Unfortunately, the more humans encroach on wolves' natural habitat, the more crowded the sanctuaries become. Aren't there any government agencies that can take care of the wolf? For the most part, and especially up there, wolves are considered to be pests. If a government agency got involved, it would take care of the wolf all right, permanently. It gets so cold here at night. Will the wolf be okay? Not only are wolves built to withstand cold temperatures, but they know instinctively what to do to survive in extreme conditions. If they didn't, they would have disappeared from the Earth eons ago. Why didn't you just come out and tell the people at Icicle Creek Lodge that you were there to protect the wolf? Because I assumed, and quite correctly as it turns out, that very few people there would be sympathetic to my cause. Had I not been undercover, they may have tried to foil my efforts. Instead, I was able to foil theirs. For a while, at least. Did you ever hear any explosions while you were staying at Icicle Creek Lodge? Yes, as a matter of fact, I heard several. Do you have any idea what caused them? My first thought was that Ollie had completely lost it and was going after the wolf with explosives. But when I realized that even he wasn't that stupid, I assumed it was someone clearing an avalanche or a downed tree or something. While we're on the subject of explosions, did anyone ever figure out what made the bunkhouse blow up like that? The sheriff says it was plastic explosives. Wow, that's serious. No offense, but it sounds to me like instead of hiring a new maid, the owner of the lodge should have hired herself a detective. Yeah. Yeah. I need to get back to work. Okay, well, we got some answers for our stupid survey. Earth. And left. Okay, now these three I can figure out in the morning after we do our chores. And I just have to talk to the two boys about their stupid planet preferences. Which, the boys really are not here that often at all, are they? I guess, let's get up at six. Oh, I guess I could have just left it, huh?
get the laundry bag. Laundry. Back upstairs we go. Okay. We're going to go into Kalakala first. Kalakala is Yanni. Yanni gets up on the right side of the bed, I guess. Do not disturb. Ugh. Who's, who's bed, who's, what's this? Guadalupe's, okay, so we don't need to worry about this room anymore. The other one is the beaver, Ina. Ina is Lou. Are we allowed in? I don't know. Oh, he made this bed, or? Well. Dang it, the boys are making it hard, aren't they? Let's make breakfast and then try to see them? I don't know. Hey, that doesn't say do not disturb anymore. So Pish Pish is Bill, William. Dang it. It's made. Could take a while then. All right, we gotta go serve everybody breakfast. Okay. Order up. Before I serve this one, this is Freddy's once again. Not judging, but this is a lot of food for a little girl. Two French toast, three pieces of Canadian bacon, and a stuffed omelet. I mean, that omelet is big. She loves breakfast, apparently. All right, now I think we came down at like 9 a.m. or something and the boys were down here. So I guess let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I can get up before it's done ringing. I didn't realize. All right, I think they're down here anyway at 9. Okay, cool. Harry Potter. What's up? I was just wondering, what planet do you most identify with? Planet X. I'm sorry, I meant in our solar system. Planet X? But there is no Planet X. There will be. So, you identify with Planet X. Planet X. That's my answer, and I'm sticking to it. Okay. Would it be alright if I borrowed your snowshoes? Mm, no. I wouldn't need them for long, just for an hour or so. Well, in that case, no. What's the matter with you? Afraid of cooties? Let her use your snowshoes. I've only got one pair, and they're like precious, you know? Sorry, dude, the answer's no. What can I say? Nice talking to you. Rock and roll. Okay. Planet X. Hey, Lou, what about Hello you? Again. I know this is going to sound like a strange question, but what planet do you most identify with? Hmm. I guess it would be Mars. You know, that whole god of war thing? I should have known. I'll see you two later, okay? Glad you dropped by. 
right, Mars. So now we just need to, I mean, gosh, I'm tempted to just guess, you know, since it saved the answers, I didn't really want to wait a day just to, uh. all right, um, though before I need to, we need to check about the snow shoveling because I want to make sure that's done. I'm not quite sure how we are on time, but I always try to make the Nancy Drew episodes about two hours long. I had to do a ton of cuts for like cooking and such. Uh, I've been recording for about two and a half hours now, so we're probably about there. Oh no, why God? Okay, I think we might have this figured out. That ought to do it. Oh yay, hallelujah, praise the Lord. That was easy, that only took me like two and a half minutes. That's the quickest I've ever done it. And I didn't die, I'm getting better at it at least. Snow is shoveled, breakfast is done, maid work is done. I feel warmer all, that's for me. What is? Oh. Well, we've already talked. Nancy, because of that Neanderthal, the handyman, I have been forced to return home. Please call me when it comes to the White Wolf. There's so much for us to talk about, Lupe. I mean, thanks, but I already called you, so it's kind of awkward. Let's check out our to-do list. These two things, we still... Gosh, we didn't make any progress on those. Can't check that. Still need, still need check. Okay, I'm missing a lot. Oops, haven't done that. Been there. Oops, haven't done that. Keep an eye out for clues. Still need to do that. Been there, done that. When I'm cleaning the guest rooms, were there any clues? I didn't see anything. Did you guys? Didn't see crap. Oh, should I take these or not? Oh, maybe I better not. Nancy can be a thief. I love it. Hey, yeah, some of the stuff was missing, but it's back. Hmm, but why would that be important, though? I don't know, Hit Lady. Can I get into these? No, I didn't think so. I don't know if we should steal the snowshoes or not. I feel like it's a bad idea. We should just get the code, especially because we're almost done with the survey, you know? So I think, I think that's what we'll do. Better safe than sorry. And then this was her room, which I guess she's no longer a suspect, is she? So Tino thinks there's only three suspects, but I think the ultimate power move for this game would be for uh, it to be Ollie or something. I still think it would be hilarious if it would be Frankie. Then again, I'm not quite sure how we are on time. I think this is about two hours. I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. So I guess we're moving on to part three, won't we? I wasn't sure how long this one would be. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's very different. But anyway, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciate you being a well watcher, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!